is our new math series. Okay, it's called I, uh, Ready or I Ready. Okay, and we're doing lesson one. It says understand the meaning of multiplication. So on lesson one, this first page, we're just thinking, thinking it through. All right, we're just thinking it through. And there's really no writing, no uh, computation involved. It just says what's going on when you multiply when you multiply numbers. Well, let's see. Okay, when you multiply, when you multiply, you work with equal groups. Okay, these groups of shells are equal. Okay, this is an equal group. So is this and this. How many in each group? Two. That is correct. Two. Okay, two. That is correct. Now let me ask you this: Are these shells equal? The ones on the bottom right here. Are these shells equal? No, they're not, because they're, they're they don't have the same number of shells in each group. They have different shells, different numbers. In order to make to for it to be equal, I would have to add two shells here and then one more shell here, right? Then they would be equal, but not right now. They're not equal. They're not equal. About it. Multiplication is a way to find out how many in all. It's, it's, it's similar to, to addition, but when you have equal groups of objects, you can multiply to find a total. Groups of groups are called equal groups when they all have the same number of objects. So, do these three have the same number of objects? Yes. How many groups are there? So, how many groups? Three. Three groups. Okay. There are three groups, just like it says here. Okay, and how many in each group? Two. There are two shells in each group. Okay, so you can write three times two, like this. And they have it for you right here. Okay, think of three times two as three equal parts of two. So I have three groups with two in each. Okay, so what's the total then? Three times two would be what? How many? Six. Three times two equals six. That's one way to use multiplication by working with equal groups. Okay. So you can use pictures and models to understand multiplication. So here's a picture of what are these? What's the picture about? What do you see? What are these? Tennis balls. These are tennis balls. Okay. How many groups do I have? Groups, three, three, what? I have three groups, look, one, two, three. I have three groups, plus it tells you right here. Three groups. Okay. And how many in each group? Four. So it looks like, what? Uh, Three, it would be, we have three groups, okay, that would be my first factor, times, how many in each group? How many in each group? Four. So three times four would be? Well, I can just count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 3 times 4 equals 12 is a multiplication equation. The numbers we multiply are called factors. So these numbers that we've multiplied are called factors. You can arrange the equal groups in rows and stack them on top of each other. Okay? This is called an array. Can you circle the word array, please? Just like the, uh, the, the nine squares that, that, we, that we click on when we go to Google Drive to find Google Classroom, that's the same thing. This is an array. Okay. How many rows do I have in this particular section? Three. One, two, three. Rows. Rows are that way. Okay. Plus it says right here. How many rows do I have? Three. Three rows. How many in each row? 
Four. How many in each row? Four. And we're multiplying. So in this case, again, three times four is? Twelve. Twelve. So let's explore the idea of using a picture to show equal parts to help you think about multiplication. Use a picture to answer problems two through five. So we're, we're doing this together, okay? It's our very first, it's our first, um, it's a brand new um, master. So I'll, we'd like to do this together as a class, okay? So it says, how many fish tanks are there? So how many tanks do we see? How many? I'm going to ask you again, how many? How many fish are in each tank? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six. Okay. How many fish there are all together? Eighteen. I could count all of them, right? If there's six, six here, six here, and six here, that would be eighteen. Okay. What would be my multiplication equation? Three times six equals 18. Perfect. Three times six equals 18. I want you to try these two problems by yourself. Okay. There are four apple trees in Nell's backyard. She picked five apples from each tree. Draw a picture to show the equal parts. And then number seven, what multiplication equation could you write about the apples? Go ahead and do six and seven. You can do this do this two ways, okay? So how many apple trees are there? Four. So we need four groups, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, how many apples does she take from each tree? Five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Okay, and it says draw pictures to show the equal points. There you go. Okay, or can I do the array? Just can I do the array? Yes. So four, uh, four apple trees, right? So I'm going to need how many rows? Four. One. Two, three, four. Okay. And how many apples in each row? How many apples in each row? Five. I have one there, so two, three, four, five. And I'm done. What would be my multiplication equation? Just tell them. Well, I gotta start with how many rows, how many groups I have. Four. Okay. Not plus times. You said it right. Equals how many? Serenity? Twenty. We are multiplying. The first number in a uh, math uh, a multiplication word problem tells you how many rows. Okay, or how many groups? Okay, the second number tells you how many in each group. How many in each row or group? All right, so it says. Example, tell whether each picture shows equal parts. So which picture shows equal parts? The one on the left or the one on the right? This one right here, right? Because each each group has the same number of uh, triangles. Is Does this one have equal parts? No. No? no? Yes. Equal parts. 
Well, let me answer the questions. How many triangles are in each group in the first picture? In each group, how many? Three. So in each group, three. How many triangles in each group in the second picture? So how many in, each, in this picture? How many in the first one? Three. How many in the second one? Two and two. Yeah. Why does the first picture show equal parts? Talk to you. Why does this one show equal parts? Yeah, because it has three triangles in each one. And they're equal to each other. Yes. Excellent. Now look at the picture to the right. All right. That's this one right here. Okay. Does it show equal parts? No, it does not show equal parts. How do you know that? Yes. One picture has four stars, the other picture has. So, here's the problem that we have to solve. We have to understand the problem with the reader first. Becky has five groups of apples. Each group has two apples. Use the rings below to draw all the to draw all the apples to show the equal parts. All right. So what's this problem about again? Apples and what? Well, Becky. Okay. And she's put in the apples in groups, right? So I have five groups, and how many in each group? Two in each. I, do I really have to draw the apples perfectly? No, I'm just going to use circles instead, or squares. What do you mean? One, two. Two in each group. Okay. That was it. It's because it, this is what I told you. Draw all the apples to show the equal groups. That's it. Does it ask you to write a multiplication uh, equation? No, 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 no. Does it? Yeah. So now, I, do I have equal parts here? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Because each row has the same number of books, right? But what is this called right here? There was a specific word that this was called. Samson? An array. Array. Okay. Mike has three shelves in his bookcase. Each shelf has six books on it. Okay. Mike drew an array. Oh, it's, it's right there. An array to show how many books he has. All right. So how many rows does the array have? How many rows do I see? Three. One, two, three. Okay. How many books are in each row or shelf? Six. So my my uh, multiplication equation would be three times six. So how many books do you have all together? Eighteen. Nice. 18. Yeah, 18. Nice job. Okay, let me do number six. Okay. John earned three dollars four times. Draw a picture to show this. So he earned three dollars four times, right? So I'm going to go four times. Four times. And how many uh, dollars did you earn each time? Three. Three. And that was it. Okay. What would be my multiplication sentence? Yes. Three times four. Okay. And it looks like he has 12. Now the bottom part says says so we had uh, we 
you have this, right? Four groups with three each. Now fill in the blanks to complete the addition sentence that describes your picture. So we had how many groups again? How many groups? Four. How many groups? Four. 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 Okay, how many each group? Three. Three. So it's three plus three plus three plus three equals what? Twelve. Twelve. This is called repeated addition. That's another strategy to um, another strategy. This strategy is called repeated addition. Okay, repeated addition. Nice job.